Okay, it's Blades. Uh, Elder Scrolls Blades. Um, I believe it's made by the Bed Beds, obviously. Uh, Oblivion Worlds or Elder Scrolls games. Um, I don't know what this is. Enter down and everybody the best neighbor. That's a dungeon I can do. That's it. So, it has a lot of the same elements of all your mobile games. Uh, daily reward up here in the top. There, I got some free materials. Um, let's show you. So, it has a town building element to it. Uh, for some reason, this is Hello, working slow. Okay. okay, so there's a town building element to it. Um, you tap on the ground to move your character around. Hello. So, this town has been attacked. You learn all of this in the story, and you can build stuff. Right now, I don't have any money, so I can't show you the buildings of things. Although, I believe I have some buildings that are completed. I can show you here. Unfortunately, there's not a sprint. So, there's your town hall. This is the first thing you rebuild. Um, and then you get buildings. So these are houses. Each building you build adds. I believe it's called Prestige. Let's see. Yeah, Prestige. It adds Prestige, your town levels up, and then you can get more advanced buildings. So, if you're familiar with that from any mobile game, um, other familiar elements from mobile games, we're going to go into the menu here in the top left. Um, these green gems you can earn in the game. You can also buy them in the store uh, to get things. You can get things to decorate your town, like this full spire. You can get chests which have loot in them. Uh, and then here you can buy gems and whatnot. Um, the chests have an element also. So you have any chests? I don't have any chests. Uh, chests take time to open, so that's part of mobile games that you're going to be familiar with. Um, the least expensive chest take five seconds, and then the next tier is an hour. I've never gotten anything above, I think it's called silver, so I've never got anything above that. Um, up here in the top right corner, your gold is what you use to buy in-game stuff, armor, weapons, and build your town. Um, and then the green gems are used uh, in the store. Um, and somewhere else, yeah, they can be used to speed up timers also. Uh, the thing here in the middle, the backpack, is how much you've got in your backpack, and so that can be updated, upgraded with green gems. There you go. And then armor and weapons is in your character. So here's your character. Um, there's different armors and weapons, jewelry and stuff. Obviously, I don't have a lot. I'm very new at this. And then there's skill trees. I focus on spells. Um, and as you get stronger, you can increase your spells as well. Obviously, I'm not strong enough yet. So, we'll do that later. Um, the game can be played like this, where you can turn your phone sideways, and it can be played like this, which is typically the way I play the dungeons. And then you get uh, missions at those exclamation points, but I don't want to talk to that guy, because I'm pretty sure he's a demigod, and I don't want to deal with his mission. Uh, there's other missions. Explore the ruins. So, you open your missions log. Oh, jobs. I've never seen that before. Huh. And then there's challenges. Um, so, dealing damage, defeat enemies, and perform critical hits. Let's go quest. And then you click on the quest, and it tells you what you're going to get. Once you start, you go immediately into the mission. You don't have to navigate toward it. And when you end the quest, you come immediately back to your town. So there's not there's not a lot of the uh, traveling around that you'd be accustomed to if you played, you know, any of the Oblivion games, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, Oblivion, any of those. So there's a little bit of looting in the uh, in the dungeons. Combat, and if you can, some looting. So I'm gonna run through this. Um, if you check your menu in the top left, go to your quest details, 
So it says secrets. So it says hidden mysteries and objectives. It tells you how difficult it is. Two of five skulls. There's secrets in here. So I try and find the secrets. Um, so let's see if we can find a secret. And finish the mission. Uh, together. So to attack, you, you down on the screen. This is your circle fill. One of my abilities is a dodge attack. And then you can block using on the left side your shield. You can block. You drop loot, you get gold. When things glow, it means they're lootable. I haven't seen anything come out of there though. Oh well. Uh, there's something that loots that fire salts that I picked up. Um, the secrets typically aren't too secret. Got some limestone. Limestone is used for uh, building in your town. Oops. Okay, so there's another way to control the game that I'll show you, but I'm horrible at it, but just so you can see it. If you put both of your phones on the screen, you get visual, so you'll run the lower right hand corner, and then movement over the lower left. Like there's something to do. Potion. I can increase my health a little bit. Got um, some gold that time. And these look like ingredients: void salts and frost salts for alchemy. Pretty linear, but it's a mold game, so it makes sense. Okay, we got a fight here. Oh, you know what? Let me switch my weapon really quick. Character. Let's change this to fire weapon. There we go. And hopefully this will do better now. to show you. I'm, I have three magic over in the uh, bottom corner I should show you. They typically take these a lot slower because I'm always looking for the treasures. Or the secrets, I should say. Do you see the three stars on the lower left? Well, I'm looking at the fire weapon. That. That 36 more health, that's good. Weapon was so 
so, you know, limestone for building in the village. Um, it's clear that understanding your elements and what you're fighting against is important. Oh, more food. Maybe that should increase my health. to look for them, but hopefully I'll find them so I can show you. They're not, they're not that difficult. And I'm going to need to push it on your left. Looking for mushrooms. Go ahead for building in the village. this. So, if you explore, I'm not going to hit complete, I'm going to hit explore. If you hit explore, you can wander around back through the uh, dungeon. This gives you an opportunity to look around. So, if you don't find your secrets or whatever, you can, uh, like there's something here I forgot. Looks like there's something there. Is that something to pick up? It is not. Um, you can wander back around through the dungeon. Um, Apparently, yeah. No, so there's a golden chest. Takes six hours to unlock. So you hit unlock, and six hours later, or spend the gems, you get the contents. Once you've done this, you're in the game. You're exploring. You want to leave top left corner, uh, complete quest, and you're out. This will put you right back in your village. Um, I don't think I missed. So, oh. what did you find? Lots of undead and an empty sarcophagus. I'm pretty old, but it was open only recently. Some sort of warding enchantment on the statue. Oh, so um, when you start playing, this town was destroyed when the statue was destroyed and engulfed in fire. So I was, exp I was. Um, Investigating that, and that's what this story is about. Um, you should see him out near the west gate. Uh, so, let's go over here just real quick. This is the smithy. What do you need? Oh, I was building something. That's what this is. Okay, so I can collect that. And then from within the smithy, um, you can These shop for today's things. wares. But again, normal, normal stuff. Uh, craft stuff, if you have the resources. Tempering to make your things better. And then repair your damaged, uh, things. So I'm just gonna repair everything for, you know, for Always repair things before they break down. The smithy is the second thing you build in the village. Hello again, build warrior. The, uh, the okay. so, I'm going to start playing here. Um, kind of look at. So, I mean, there's stuff broken down. It's obvious this can get looking a lot nicer, because if you run up to the... Of course there was a sprint button. But, you know, completed houses look like. 
Oh, here's one that's been built and not completed, so I can open it. Boom, there. Ta da! I never clicked on one of these before. Alright, just, just prestige. So that's that. Um, just wanted you to see this game. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun for burning time, uh, and it's very basic and still very pretty, so there you go. Um, Oh, the job board. Uh, you'll learn about this too, so you can find jobs. And again, just missions. Oh, that's the job board. Okay. Yeah, that explains that. Um, okay. I hope you enjoyed.